doesn't mean that I mean, you are shying away or you don't want to go to court. In fact, people who go for ADR, people who are confident that they have a good case, then you go to, go to ADR. Because people believe that if you go for ADR, it's because you have a bad case. It's the contrary. If you are confident that you have a good case, then you'll be willing to go for ADR. So the privacy is also something that is a, a, a very, very beneficial. And the privacy becomes very relevant for a close-knit society like the Gambia. It's a small society. We all know each other. So we don't want everybody to know what is going on. So even after you file your matter in court, you feel that this is a matter in which I don't want everybody to know what is going on, the best way to do it is to go for ADR. So it also helps us. And also, one thing, advantage of ADR is that you have an inducement to a voluntary agreement, because it's an agreement between the parties, as opposed to a judgment imposed by the court. So the parties themselves sit together, take control of the proceedings, come to an, a voluntary agreement. So the inducement is that you agree. And if you, naturally, we all know that when you agree to something, it's easier for you to implement it, as opposed to when it's imposed on you. So that's another um, advantage of ADR. And also it's, also, it's a healthy method of resolving dispute, like I said. It's healthy in the sense that sometimes you win a case. It's amazing. You find that sometimes people win cases and they go out very angry because you haven't gotten what you wanted. And what, what ADR allows you is that you take control of the proceedings. In court, you rely on your lawyer to put your case. But in the ADR, you actually pursue your own case on your own. You have the opportunity to vent your anger if you are angry. If you want to bring out emotions, you can bring your emotions. Whereas you, can't, you are not allowed to do that in court. So you, everything comes out. So by the time you leave, there is emotional satisfaction for the litigant, even the lawyer. Because contrary to general belief, people believe that lawyers are just there for the money. But at the end of the day, you want your client going away feeling satisfied, feeling the fact that I've had my day in court, I've, I feel that I, I, I'm empowered, I, I've got what I want. But within the, AD, the confines of ADR, that is possible because in the sense that the client is there, the client sits there, the both parties sit face to face and they say things. They're not bound by the strict rules of procedure because in court there are things that you can't say, there are things that you cannot say, they will say this is hearsay, this is not hearsay. But when it's ADR, you're able to say it all. So you leave feeling very, very satisfied. And what does it do? It saves, gives you savings financially and also emotionally because emotionally you're able to vent out, also savings financially in the sense that it's faster. You're able to resolve your this within a very short time. And it also cuts down lit the, 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 the litigation time. The congesting the courts, the, we're all concerned about access to justice. And we all know, even non-lawyers are always saying justice delayed is justice denied. Sometimes justice is delayed not because, I mean, it just, it's, it's, it's just because of um, wrongdoings in the system, but the courts are congested. There are too many cases in court. So with ADR, we're able to have another mechanism. You go out through the ADR system, the secretariat, like the master has explained, whilst the court is doing something else. If you are able to agree, Perfect, you come back to court. If I'm not able to agree, I want to repeat this thing because I don't want people to feel that, or if I go to ADR, it's a compromise. It's not a compromise. Yeah, it is I'll not a compromise. I was actually coming to that. that yes. How do you strike a balance? You know, we, so that, a you compromise, know. When, you, when you reach an agreement through a compromise, one party gives in and the other party takes. But ADR is a facilitative agreement. You, 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 both parties feel empowered. It's, it's collaboration. That's what I call collab collaborative agreement. Both parties come together and they collaborate and come to an agreement. So it's different. When you collaborate and come to an agreement, it's different from a compromise where one party gives in another party, one, one party feels I'm a winner. ADR is such that it's a win-win situation. Both parties feeling that we've all won. In the sense that sometimes you're supposed to give somebody money and you withhold the money because you have a grievance. This is the reason why you held the money. If you go to ADR, you're able to resolve that issue and then you voluntarily give out the money. So you don't feel like you've compromised. I've also been given the opportunity. So it's a collaborative process of um, resolving this, but as opposed to um, being a compromise or, or competition yeah. you know in court is competition mm. one party wins the other party loses mm. but then what is important is even sometimes where you win you still live dissatisfied you won't you won't believe it but it happens you can win a case but maybe not to the extent you wanted it and you leave dissatisfied whereas in adr i think by the time you leave and it's not compulsory nobody curses you the mediator who is there is a facilitator. It's not there to facilitate the process. In fact, the, the first thing the mediator will tell you when the mediator is mediating is, I'm not here to force you to come to an agreement. If a mediator forces anybody to come to an agreement, that is not mediation. The, um, and that's, that will be faulty. So it's the parties themselves who will come together, collaborate. You can go there with your lawyers to get advice, but you don't even have to be there with your lawyers. That's the beauty of it. And also the beauty about ADR also is that it empowers the individual. Because like I said, in court, it's the lawyer who speaks and the judge. You only speak when you're asked to, be, to, to speak. speak. Otherwise, you keep quiet. You and know, I'm not emotional. talking to you. And you know, in ADR, you are, you are allowed to be emotional. 
You say it all. You vent out your anger. Bring it all out. And also, like I said, professional satisfaction for the, for the lawyer also. You, 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 your client leaves and you know that definitely my client is happy. He's got a good day. And also, contrary to general belief, people are saying that if ADR comes in, then what work would the lawyers have? Yeah, Certainly, ADR is not like an, as a substitute because, like we said, for court-connected ADR, you file your papers in court. So by the time you file your papers in court, most likely there will be a lawyer involved. Not in all cases, but I say most likely there will be a lawyer involved. So the lawyer files the case. Generally, when clients pay you, they either pay you a lump sum at the beginning, or some clients will say, I have to wait until my case is sorted out before I pay you. I want the case to end. So what happens in reality is some of, sometimes you are paid an amount of money in 2006, and the case is dragging up to 2010, four years, five years. So it got to the extra point where you are actually financing the case. Yeah. You're spending your money on the case. Okay. You're not getting any money. Yeah. Whereas if you're able to resolve the dispute fast, economies of scale. Instead of resolving two disputes in the year, you have 10 disputes in the year. So even though you're going to get more money for a long litigation, but if you have 10 quick cases, you have make more money. Yeah. So there's a lot of satisfaction for the lawyer too. Mm. So it's like the client wins, the lawyer wins, and society also wins because, like I said, society feels that this is the way we've been resolving it because ADR... Um, well, I should have mentioned at the beginning, in some quarters it's a part of African dispute resolution mechanism. Okay. Because that is the way we used to resolve our disputes. We don't wash our dirty linen in public. We get the elder in the family to sit and, and listen to both sides. Maybe the only difference is sometimes people say that because the elder within the family, because of the position of the elder, you sometimes you may succumb without even realizing it, or because you feel that uh, this is my elder, whatever my elder says, I have to comply with it. But the mediator is a neutral. You don't have to agree with the media. In fact, the mediator will not even descend into the arena. The mediator will listen to both sides, and there are times when you go aside to, 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 to discuss with the mediator, and the mediator cannot even disclose what you've discussed with him or her unless or until you give him permission to do so. Whereas in the, in the elderly situation, the elder is at, at liberty to do whatever he or she feels like doing. So I think ADR actually is here, has, has been here with us for a very long time. It's just that now that it's been formalized and put to the fore. And the reason why that has been done is the fact that people have realized that um, congestion of the court system is not, was, was not going to help. It's it impedes access to justice. Because access to justice is not only being able to go to court, but being able to go to court, having very neutral and impartial presiding officer, and having justice dispensed expeditiously and efficiently so that everybody feels as at the end of the day I've had my day in court. So I think the court-connected ADR, I the advantage of the court-connected ADR also most important is that at the end of the day, when you agree, despite everything that has been said, or the advantage, at the end of the day, you also have a binding decision. Because sometimes people are in the habit of agreeing and then reneging. But the good thing about the court-connected ADR is by the time you come up to an argument and you voluntarily sign your agreement, then there's no room for an again. Then you go back to the court, and the court will enter as a judgment. In the event that the person has a second line or Third. first chicken out, then yeah. you can enforce your order. Okay. So I think there's a lot of benefits, and we'll encourage members of the public, and my colleague, also colleague lawyers also, to encourage um, yeah, the, the clients. In so fact, in some jurisdictions, I, I know the, the, the rules have been changed, and everybody is moving towards ADR. In fact, it's, you, the, the, the lawyer has an obligation to pursue an amicable set of law dispute before going to court. And if you fail to do that, at the end of the day, when the court awarding costs, you know, when you lose a case, then you have an enhanced cost. But if you are able to show that you've done everything you can, then you know that, I mean, things will be done for you. So I also encourage the, the judges themselves to encourage the, the, the parties that appear before them. I'll also encourage um, the lawyers to also encourage their clients and the society at large also to employ them. The, um, ADR, the court connected ADR. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you are watching, um, joining us now, you're watching the ADR, con court connected ADR access to justice um, here on GRTS. Um, it's a panel which uh, the members of judiciary want to encourage um, the general public to partake in in our future or subsequent um, programs. Our next on the list is um, her worship. Amijara, let's talk about this um, issue uh, of ADR as mentioned by the master um, and uh, private, senior private legal practitioner. Um, now let's look at uh, this issue of expeditious and efficient uh, you know, dispensation of justice. You are talking, uh, let's talk about the access and quality service delivery. You know, in as much as you want to encourage people to go for ADR, what are some of the issues that needs to be looked at you know, um, from your perspective? Thank you very much, Ibrahima. 
as my other colleagues have already said, um, the 